Last year, WatchGeek made a video with regards to the atomic sinking on watches, particular with G-Shocks. And the region where he lives is just right on the edge of the atomic signal antenna. So he's thought of a way to boost his signal strength by hanging the watches either on a bicycle or some exercise equipment and has found out that the metal actually works like a booster for an antenna and he is getting 100% more successful uh, atomic sinks than before. Then Watch Geek did an update on his video regarding the atomic clock and this was about the signal that is in America and covers most parts of Canada and there is a petition to be signed to save this signal as it's costing six million dollars a year to run this signal and the government have decided that this is an expense they can save. I will add in the description a link to both of Watch Geek's videos. A subscriber to my channel called Chris Morin sent a message and he wrote, unfortunately I'm not in the area of getting a signal. Too bad that Casio, such a rich and big organization, can't make this worldwide. Unfortunately for Casio, I'm not sure if they are in the position to actually control these signals. But I do have an idea which I will come to very shortly. So the other five signals, because there's six in total, are two in Japan. There's one in China that covers half, Germany and surrounding parts of Europe. And the last one is in the UK that also covers some parts of Europe. Then you have the rest of the world that have no signal at all, which includes Russia and the neighboring lands, most of the Scandinavian countries, south of Spain, leading down to the continents of the whole of Africa. Then over the pond, you have, as we've discussed, South America leading down to Brazil, Argentina, and the islands in that region. Then onto Australia, New Zealand, and all the islands on that shade of the earth. A while ago, Japan experienced a terrible loss with a tsunami hitting them hard, which destroyed the atomic signal. So in a temporary stitch, there was an app called JJY Simulator that could be downloaded to your device, which uses the speakers as an antenna to sync the atomic clock to your atomic watch or clock. This would only work if your atomic watch or clock was set to Japan. The high pitched tone is felt by children more than adults. So if you have annoying neighborhood children, then this app is perfect to keep them at bay. So what is going to happen in the future? Do we lose all the six signals one day soon? Well, I have found a solution that needs help. So Casio, are you listening? So what is this big idea? Well, I have found Clockwave. And basically, this is working like the other app that was just used for Japan. Now I paid £1.99 for this app and I thought it was worth a try. Now what it does, this is an atomic signal that is linked with your Wi-Fi. And 
by pressing transmit and turning your speakers up it will use the speaker as an antenna which will update your atomic watch. I need to give you an example and show you what I mean. I have these watches here all messed up just to show you this is the correct time and date. It is January the 3rd and it is just coming up to 10 past 3 and here I have got them very messed up. That one's on Friday. Uh, this one, oh, upside down. This one is on Wednesday. And this one again is messed up with the hours and even the date. So, what you need to do, and I shall show you on the Frogman because it has a bigger display. I'm just going to go into the settings and make sure that my home city is correct and it is London. That's what I need to check and this is what you'll need to do. So if you're in Paris, obviously you need to set it for Paris and so on. You get the idea. So I'm going to kick this off and I've got the volume turned right up. Now you can hear that And every second, using my pointer, it is sending information. Now the information consists of the minutes, the hours, the daylight saving, leap year, uh, the month, the year, and the date. And it has quite a tone to it. So what you do, you leave that running. I'm just going to give you an example so I just turned that off for the moment now if I press get on this it's going to start to look for a signal and I'm in my light box I've drawn the curtains I have centered myself in the middle of the room and I do have all the windows closed and the walls are quite thick. Now, the signal strength on this doesn't go up beyond L1. So a good signal would be L3. I'm just going to turn that on and put that right next to the watch. Now, I'm not sure where the antenna is on the king but I'm sure if it's around that area there it is it has gone up to L3 already so if I take that away the signal has gone it goes back to L1 I pull this back into view And I shall play this out so you can see. And there, it has hit L3. So what I shall do is just leave it there and just show you what happens. And there we have it. It has received a signal and it looks like, if I just push that, it is set the date as well, the time and the seconds as well. Now, how cool is that? And looking at the app, this will work worldwide. This means that in all those dead atomic zones like Africa, Australia, New Zealand, South America, by using this app, you'll be able to sync your atomic watch or possibly clock. Now, 
I've taken it a little step further. I have made myself an antenna. So I'm just going to get myself set up and show you how this works. So what have I done? Well, I've taken an antenna from my stereo that I don't use. And here on the end, it would just have two exposed wires. So what I've done, I've found a 3.5 millimeter jack and wired them and soldered them together. Then it's just a matter of fact of pushing that into the headphone jack and increasing the volume. Now you'll need to put the volume on absolute maximum and it's coming up with red and telling me all kinds of warnings. Before I start the app, I just want to do a manual sync just using the Frogman, just to show you that there is no signal whatsoever. And I've tested this several times, and the most that's come up is a flash with L1. Apart from that, um, leaving it for about two minutes, I have no signal whatsoever. And the Golf Master is ready to go, that is in the RC uh, display mode. And you saw it just had a flash of L1 and that is as much as I will get. So if I just stop that, start the app, just make sure that the volume is set to maximum. And note that you don't hear the tone because this is now going through an antenna. So let's start the Golf Master and the Frogman and see what happens. I'm going to play this completely live. I'm not going to fast forward anything or skip. I think this is very important that you actually witness all of this. So, so far I've got L1 on the Golf Master, L1 on the Frogman now. Any advances on L1? Do we hear an L2? L2, L3, thank you, Golf Master is on L3. L2, L3. We are now have the full signal. So I shall just leave them still as they are. I haven't placed them down in any sort of uh, fashion. I've just put them and made sure they're resting somewhere on the lower edge of the antenna. So it would be interesting to see how that would work, say if you had an antenna booster or if you're listening, Casio, how about make something that is in the router of the Wi-Fi that can boost a signal? And imagine that in every household. We have not only Wi-Fi, we have atomic signals. Then it wouldn't have to have all those antennas. It can make it worldwide then you can use that money and we could buy more G-Shocks. That would be an idea. So, I'm just very, very nervous at the moment. Very nervous. Um, I've got two watches going through. Um, though, it, I should imagine it doesn't matter how many watches you have this, it's only receiving, and this is just sending this signal out. So far, both watches are maintaining on the maximum of L3. I don't want to touch anything. I just want to see this out. So you could be in that part of the world that you don't have a signal, or never had a signal, and you have an atomic watch 
Well, this is the answer for one pound ninety nine that app cost. So I would quickly download it now before the prices go up till they see this video. I think this is it. I think this is the app. That's going to save you guys. Um, you can use it directly on the uh, speaker, as I said, but I just wanted to go a little step further and th just try to see if an antenna would work. Now I'm thinking an antenna, a booster, but I'm fortunate because being in the um, outer side of London, I am pretty central to where the atomic signal is. So. I have no problem as long as I leave the watches near, quite near to a window, not doesn't have to be on a window sill, I always get a signal. But this is interesting because when I was in the south of um, Spain, I never got a signal and I thought that was within range. So when I go again, I will know set the watch to Paris say because it's only an hour forward get I've got to get and I've got to get unbelievable unbelievable I both have synced the time it's just come out of there come out of there oh oh my excitement so that is focuses, focus, focus, focus. That is on Thursday, today's day, that is two days time and it is set. And it's even got the G up on the dial there. And on the, just gonna turn that off. And on the Golf Master, that is today's date. It's adjusted the time as you saw, it shifted the hours yes that is the correct time bringing in my arrangement that is absolutely unbelievable i cannot believe that has worked um so there you go guys there you go um I don't know what else to say. You just download Clock Wave. You just open the app. There's nothing else to it. You just press transmit. If you haven't got an antenna, just make sure you have the volume set to maximum and just have it on the watch, very close to the watch. If you, if you know which part of the antenna is, usually it's on the top part and you just put it on that close and it will sync your watch and as you've seen it took only what a couple of minutes and it's done both of these watches well that is atomic time and as always thanks for watching <laughs>